grandfather uh, acquired the Cullen Creek block that we're on now in, uh, in around uh, 1920, 21, 22. I came home in 1967 and I've been here ever since. We had 14 watering points when I came home. I thought I have got to improve on that. This here is Sam's Dam, uh, financed partly by NQ Dry Tropics. Uh, Sam Skeet was the instigator of it. And uh, this is one of a, a big number of dams on Camel Creek. An NQ Dry Tropics has one thing in mind, that is looking after the country better. And uh, th that's why I look at it anyway. The problem with erosion is it uh, steals country and, uh, and also it messes up the uh, water flow off the property. The only way of controlling erosion is to slow the water down. It was a breakaway gully from starting from below the dam right all the way. Sharp sides, very eroded. The bottom was down to hard material, but it was, it was growing wider. I've flooded the, the erosion gullies coming in. Now, in time, they will silt up. All those sharp edges you see will disappear. The grass will gradually encroach down until you've got grass right around the whole, whole edge of the water. This dam has settled down very, very well. And you'll see the grass on it. I like to see that. Uh, that means that there's going to be no erosion off the wall. All the grass and weed and that sort of thing uh, protects the wall. And the, the cattle, they can walk down into the water, have a drink and walk out again without, without any fear of getting bogged or anything like that. The cattle took to it immediately. The other dam in this paddock is about, oh, nearly two kilometres away. So uh, uh, we needed a dam up this end. The number of cattle on each dam is down from two or three hundred to around about 50 to 70 head. They uh, grow healthier, they grow faster. Over the years we've uh, reduced our selling off age from seven to eight years old for our bullocks to uh, three and a half to four years old, which means we've got a twice the turnover. Every corner of the place has got a dam. And that means that every corner of the place has got cattle working it. That means that we've got a, an overall coverage of of livestock, but only moderate. It's man-made, but it's got to look as natural as possible. Around every dam is a little ecosystem. You've got all the ground nesting birds, you've animals, lizards, granners, whatever, little quails and whatnot that have moved in, and they're, they're part, of the, part of the game. They, they, they belong here as much as I do. If you look after your country, it will look after you. The whole idea is to uh, return the country to the next generation in better order.